Claire Boyle, 34, kept the youngest victim in a modified cot and claimed it was for his protection. The second boy, who managed to escape, was found with so many bruises that a doctor thought he might have a blood disorder, the Daily Record reports. A court heard how Boyle had previously tried to sell a child for £1 million and had shaken him, shouted at him and abandoned him. The horrors only came to light after the four-year-old escaped from the flat in which he was staying by squeezing through a six-inch gap in the window and dropping four feet to the ground. The little boy was wearing pajamas when he was found wandering the streets alone in the, room. In the hospital. Medics found so many bruises on the boy that they thought he may have blood cancer or a blood clotting disorder. Dr. Christine Findlay, a consultant pediatrician with NHS Ayrshire and Erin, said there were fingertip bruises on the older boy suggesting the child having been grabbed. The pediatrician said there were so many bruises doctors believed the boy may have had an underlying medical condition which predisposed the child to bleeding, a blood disorder, like hemophilia or Boyle claimed the cot was altered to protect the younger boy, the court heard. She is now facing jail following her third conviction for child neglect. Boyle and Timothy Johnston, 57, were both convicted of neglect yesterday after a trial at Kilmarnock Sheriff Court. The court heard a passerby found the older boy alone in a street, Ayrshire, in October 12. They raised the alarm, which led to an investigate and where officers then found the younger boy trapped in a cage in a bedroom. Giving evidence, Police Constable Adam Papard said, the toddler's nappy was full and hanging low and he was within the makeshift cot. The bottom of the cot had been removed and strapped to the top to stop the child getting it was turned into a very risky cage. She, Boyle, started blaming it on it. She said it was all his fault. She stated he was able to open the window and let himself out. She said her solution was to put things in front of the window and to put the base over the top. Dr. Finkley said the number, size and pattern of bruises on the boy left. She said that there were more than you could expect from normal childhood. The boy had crusted blood around his ears, indicating a blow to the ear. She added, this is a child who has lots of signs of injuries. A charge the pair assaulted the older boy was withdrawn by prosecutor Ed Sheeran. Sheriff Higgins convicted Boyle of neglecting the two-year-old and the four-year-old. Johnston was convicted of, of neglecting the four-year-old. The judge called to adjourn the case and called for background reports to be prepared ahead. In 2015, the court heard Boyle try to sell a child for £1 million. She also shook the boy, shouted at him and abandoned him in a damp and drafty close in the town. When about her previous convictions outside court, Boyle insisted she had done nothing wrong, and said, she